Hello everyone and welcome to this nice little video on creating your first solution. In this video we're going to learn how to create a solution which is a combination of a form as well as a label. Uh, so what we're going to do first is we're going to start by clicking on new solution. And as you can see it tells us that the solution is empty. Now we have some areas here that shows us where we can add a new label and a new form. We can either choose right here from the ribbon or we can choose to add right here from the solution manager. So we're going to click first on add new label and we're going to rename this to solution label. Now we're going to click on create label. Now much like going into designer for the first time we get our new label setup wizard. I'm going to click next to actually keep everything default here and I'm going to click finish and then I'm actually going to connect this to our database much like we've done in other videos. So we're going to go to data, we're going to go to excel, And we're simply going to go to our database wizard and browse for our pasta database, much like we've seen in previous videos. I'm going to click next. I'm going to click next again, leave everything as default, but instead this time I'm going to tell nice label not to create any objects because I'm going to place them on the label myself as different objects, such as a barcode. And I'm going to click finish. And now what I want to do is I want to actually add from a text object for some fields from our database. So I'm going to click the drop down arrow here and select our pasta product ID column. I'm going to place that as a text object and then I'm going to do our product description here and use that as a text object and line these up a little bit. Now I actually want to add a barcode and I'm going to use the code EAN here and put that underneath here. And then the last thing I'm going to do is actually add a picture. So I'm going to click on the picture object and select our picture. I'm going to scroll down here to all files and use our nice label logo. Now all I have to do is actually just put this on the label here and resize it a bit so it looks a bit better and we're going to put this right in the corner. So now we've got our pasta product ID, we've got our product description as text objects and we've got our code EAN as a barcode. So now what we're going to do is we're going to actually go down here to add new form and click it and create solution form. Now once I click create form it's now going to open up another tab that shows us our form and we can actually tab back and forth between our form and our label to do some editing. So now we're going to actually add a database table. So we're going to add our database records from our Excel sheet that we usually see in the print form right on this form here. So we're actually going to click the drop down here and select the pasta table and put it right on the label. I'm going to resize this a little bit to make it a little bit easier to read and make it a little bit bigger. Now we're going to add a label preview, much like we see in our print form. We're going to add a preview right to this form. And once I click the label preview and put it on the form and line it up, we're just going to make it a little bit smaller. Now what we want to do is actually connect our preview to the label that we're going to use from our solution. So we can double click the preview and now we can either choose to browse for a label here by scrolling through windows. Or we can use a data source meaning using a variable label or all we have to simply do is click the drop down here and add the solution label. Now once I click off the window you can see now that here we have our product ID, our product description, our code EAN barcode and nice label logo. So it's actually reading the data from the first record in our database and giving us a real time preview. Now what else I want to do is I want to actually create a button to print. So what I'm going to do is actually scroll down to our button here and put this on the form. Now a button allows us to add certain actions such as printing. We can do advanced forms such as scripting, uh, which you may see in later videos. But what we're first going to do is learn how to open the label, set the printer and print the label. So now I'm going to make this button a little bit bigger and we're going to double click on it. And first we're going to rename it from button to print. And then we're going to line it up with our preview here. And then we're going to double click on it again and go to our events tab. And now we're going to change the on click actions. So right now our actions you can do quite a few in, in nice label which we'll get into in later videos. But right now we're going to stick with the main three which is open label, print label and set printer. So I'm going to click on open label. Once again we can do much like in the preview we can browse for a label. We can select a data source or we can simply just click the drop down and select our solution label. Now we want to set our printer meaning it's going to actually get the printer that's defined in the label so we can actually set a printer that's different in the label but I'm just going to keep my thermal printer here and then I actually want to print the label. Now we once again we can do the actual set static labels we can do all we can do a variable or we can pull it from a data source. I'm going to click OK here 
and click off of this tab. So now we have our print button. And now I actually wanna add some of our print settings and print quantity. So I'm going to click on our printer settings and place that right in the label here. And we're gonna line this up with our buttons. And then I actually wanna do my quantity. So I'm gonna line this up here. So much like our printing form, we can actually create a much more um, advanced form here. We can even take a printing form and recreate it into our own form. So right now I've got our table, I've got a live preview, I've got a print button that will show us uh, and actually print the label. And I've got a printer setting as well as our printer quantity. Now what we can do is we can actually run this form to see it run in real time. All we have to do is go up here and click run form. So now you can see we have our database here. We've got our label preview as well as our settings and our darkness here. Now what we can do is we can actually scroll down actually through the actual records and see our label change in real time much like we saw in the print form. So in summation, in this video we learned how to create a solution which is a combination of a label and a form. We are able to connect our label to a database, create our form, actually place some things on the label with objects and actually then take our table and put it on the form as well as a live preview and do some print actions on a print button as well as our printer settings. Thank you for tuning in this nice label video on creating your first solution.